me. <clears throat> the S to the N to the A-K-A. And ain't no other pony sneaking round like me. I'm Snakealicious. Uh, I just came in here because I'm on mission to watch ponies for some reason. There's my box. Anyway, without further ado, let's watch us some ponies. Colonel, they're building a new Metal Gear. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is the mission I was assigned by the Colonel. Hasn't even raised the sun yet. Sun do shine. Well, my daddy taught me how to sing, and that's why this sports means everything. Sun do shine. You better shine. You better shine. Thank you're all here. Oh God, no. <laughs> This can only spell trouble for all of them. <laughs> oh god, Pinky. I may have gone a teensy bit overboard. Ah, oh, squeak. Oh god, Pinky. Pinky's got no moderation. My little pony. Ah, uh, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be, my little pony. Till you all shared its magic with me. They can share tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness is an easy feat, and magic makes it all play. My little pony, did you know you're all my very best friends? Uh... Good lord, it's hot in here today. She's fattening up them up to eat them. My God, Pinky! Your sister. I'm sure she'll We're all gonna die me. by the end of this episode. And I'm pretty sure. We're going to make rock candy necklaces together. <laughs> it all started when Mom Pinky. and I were fillies on the rock farm. Oh, adorable! Rock candy recipe. It has a secret ingredient. It's rocks. <laughs> oh God! Show me how to string the pieces to make them into a necklace. This is adorable. Oh God! I'm gonna die from 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 saccharin sugar overdose by the end of this for, on two accounts. One because of you, and one because of the actual candy. It's a secret. You pinky. Rock to it in rock science. <sighs> B-S-B-F-F. Big sister, big best friend, forever. And derpy, what the hell is that supposed to be? What is she wearing? I think we're all a little nervous about Maud's visit. She's Pinkie Pie's sister. And it's obvious Pinkie really wants us to hate And last time we met one of our siblings, it didn't go so well. What with the changelings and all. I'm sure... Where's Maud? She's coming! Oh my god, is she imaginary? Is Pinkie insane? There's not really a sister, is there? Because there wasn't really a mod in, in their flashback. She only had the two sisters, and there was no mod. Oh, okay, no, she's real. Is she even moving? We're out of here, mod! <laughs> oh, piggy. What is going on here? Is. <laughs> hmm. Sedimentary. Huh? Is there something wrong with her? This is a sedimentary rock. Is she like autistic That's or really something? Fascinating. We're ever so glad to meet you. We're just gonna have the best time. Is there something wrong with her? Pinkie Pie tells me you share my love for fashion. Oh, this is gonna be sad, isn't it? Myself. It doesn't talk. It's a dress. Oh 
Yes, of course. I just I'm confused. Is there something like wrong with her, like mentally, or is she just like crazy emo? He's in my pocket. Oh, it's a pet rock. Oh God. Or a butterfly? Wait, 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 should I say pocket pet? Because that sounds dirty. It's, it's a rock. His name is Boulder. I think she's just, like, really, really introverted and, and kind of emo. She's got some sort of rock session. It's crunchy. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be saying to this. Play a game called Camouflage. It's kind of like hide and seek, but way more intense. She's just, she's just awesome. like emo. Pebbles. Well, you don't have to make it even harder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just make out already, you two. Maybe had a very busy day. Mon and I better get going too. I wanted to taste the rock candy we're gonna use for our best friends. I think Gummy and 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 Maud are two of a kind. I'm sure we'll be making those best friend rock candy necklaces in no time. I like that transition with the rocks. I've chosen a few fabrics that. What do you mean? Is she? She's like, she's like Lydia from Beetlejuice. Doesn't Maud make the coolest scarves? Pinkie Pie, I think you're trying too hard. It's like when they came out, there was enough enthusiasm for two ponies, but it all went into Pinkie rather than into both of them. She got enough enthusiasm for two, and Maud's like lifeless. And even though they may look a teeny bit scary, they're actually very sweet and help keep other First they're sour, then they're sweet. I was. <sighs> First they're sour, then they're sweet. It's okay. Do you read anything by Quill and Ink or Flourish Prose? I prefer to read my own poetry. I prefer Cold White Mane. Who oh, I'd love to hear some of it. Or. Tense chariot. Rock. You are a rock. <laughs> Fake, he's just... So prolific. This next one is about rocks. They're all about rocks. <laughs> rocks. These are my rocks. Sediments make me sedimental. Smooth and round. <laughs> oh! My life is an inky black abyss. Like the black of an obsidian rock. See? I called it! Pinkie Pie has super speed! When she went into the Power Ponies world as Philly second. Oh, okay, she's gonna kill everybody. With the rock. Yeah, Philly second, she didn't get any extra powers, she just always had super speed. God, Pinky! Chill the fudge out, Pinky. It tastes like apples. Told you she was She's like Raven from Teen Titans. Which, I mean, I guess she's like any, like, yeah. quiet, introverted, emo-esque huh? character. Whoa! She got some... She's got some guns on her. Whoa! That was a nice effect with the shockwave. Ah, Pinky. Pinky, you're so How good. You you're so cute. I threw it. <laughs> no, but I, I think she's. You won this one, Maud. There aren't that uh, many. I'm not really into winning. Intr <gasps> you just hit on Rainbow's trigger. There aren't that many introverted, quiet characters on TV, so I think that's why I'm thinking of Raven, because who else is there? We hate her. Share your special bonding ritual. Back away. Oh, oh okay. my God, you're all in danger. 
You're all in danger. Get away. Get away. Oh, poor Pinky. No, seriously. Get the, get the buck away. She's going to murder you all. You're all in mortal danger here. The hair deflates. It's time to run. There's the poster of the, um, of the box again. That pony is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an igneous. Don't you mean inside an enigma? Clever. Nope. I mean igneous. It's a kind of rock. Ask me how I know that. See? Okay, see, so she's rubbing off. See, you're, you're learning stuff from each other. What the double deuce is this? I call it huh? death. Colonel, I sense danger. Haha, <laughs> that's the dog playing poker with the uh, hell is this? What is that? Uh. Oh my god, it's guts! Oh my god, Michael Mallon needs to be here. The aggro crag! Well, Mo, well, hey, well, Mo, tell them how they win a piece of that radical rock. Well, Mike, I'm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pinky, no. Oh my God. She's amazing. Holy shit. Holy shit. She's freaking She's a freaking monster. Ah. What were you thinking? I think it would be best if I just go back to the rock farm and spend the rest of the week there. Oh. It was nice to meet you all. Makes me happy knowing Pinkie Pie has such good friends. Oh, I love Mod. We never even got to I love Mod. Oh, Pinky. For well, that's only for a week. That's not that bad. I can't believe we nearly lost Pinky Pie to that. I can't believe it's. I can't believe it's not butter. How in Equestria did she do that? Pinky Pie was in trouble. She's got guts. Global guts. Something that just might be worthy of a very important super duper special tradition that only the closest and bestest of friends can share. An orgy! I'm sorry I put so much pressure on every pony to bond. I only wanted my friend James to get to know my Bond. Older sister. That was stupid. Well, I'm sorry. I'll probably edit that out. Unless I'm short on time, which I think I am. Whatever. What are you doing here? Pinkie Pie. We're looting the place! What's it look like? Aww. That's a pretty great thing to have in common, if you ask me. What do you think, Mod? Rocks. Sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? I've never seen her more excited in my entire life! <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't show my enthusiasm for things quite in the same way my sister does. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love this! Oh, I love the Pie Sisters. <laughs> Look at her dance. Was that was that superstar? Wait, when did they get to Bedrock? Give you something to take on your trip, so that you remember all your friends from Ponyville. When when did they get to Bedrock? The Flintstones are gonna show up. Oh, look at dashes. <laughs> That's actually really impressive. Pinky. She, she is with the prehensile hair again. Oh, she saves them all. You haven't eaten any of them? I don't really like candy. But I do love Pinkie Pie. Oh, freaking oh! I love Pinkie Pie too. Oh. 
My Little Pony. We did get the credits after all. So, oh my god, I love that episode. By the way, I forgot I was going to mention it at the top, but then I got wrapped up in the whole... The whole box shenanigans. Um, uh, happy Pi Day. Um, it was Pi Day yesterday. And we get... Uh, this week we got Mod Pie. Uh, and last week we had... Um, an episode that's revolved around delivering pies, so that's actually appropriate. Um, anyway, regardless. Oh my god, this episode! I freaking love this episode! Oh, it's not like, it wasn't anything like, it wasn't like, um, Pinky Pride. Pinky Pride. Pinky's got all the best episodes this season. Pinky Pride, uh, Pinky Apple Pie, and Mod Pie are all fantastic episodes. Those are the best episodes this season, plus, for like the finish, I really like. Um,. That, but that's not Pinky related. This, Pinky's got all the best episodes this season. This episode was fantastic, but it wasn't like there was anything like super amazing about it. Like with like with uh, Pinky Pride, where you got the it was the musical. Plus, you had Weird Al in it. It wasn't like I mean there was nothing especially amazing about this episode. There was nothing particularly awesome or outstanding or anything really. It was just such a heartwarming episode. It was just. The it was all it was completely character driven. There was no like conflict or anything. There was no, oh you know, who's gonna get to 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 host Dash's party, or will Scootaloo ever fly, or will Discord you know be a general you know annoying douche, and will they get eaten by a worm? Will there be? Plants taking over Questra. There was no external conflict. It was all completely character driven. It was the main six, each being themselves, with the ad additional complication of this new character brought in, who they really, really want to like. They really want to like her because Pinky loves her. I mean, she's Pinky's sister. She loves her. So they all want to like her too. But they can't. They try in their damnedest, but they just can't because they just they can't figure her out. And it's come. And. She's a great character. Maude is a great character, too. She's she's quiet. She's not outspoken. She likes what she likes, she, um, which is rocks, which is not conventional. She's quirky. And she's just herself. She's not she's not out to impress anybody. She's just going to be herself. She's quiet. She's... I don't even want to say emo. That's what I was saying before, but she's not. She's just not... She's just introverted. And... That's fine, and that's great. I'm actually, despite how crazy I am, I'm actually, I call, I like to say I'm an, I'm an extroverted introvert. Because if I'm in public, you know, if I'm with people, then I'm being woohoo, hey, look at me. I'm, in, I'm like I am on camera. But if I'm, by, but if I'm not with them, then I just want to be left the, the fuck alone. You know, my ideal vacation is to be sitting by, by myself in my room for a week, and not have anybody talk to me. I, if, if, if I don't have to be bothered by anybody, I don't want to be. But if I am, well, then I'm, I'm, I'm my crazy extroverted on-screen persona that you've seen. Um, and so I can appreciate that this character is just, she doesn't want to be super best friends forever. She's just, she's just doing her thing. This is going on really long, but I've got a lot to say about this episode. I may actually cut this off into a separate thing. Um... So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. That way I can have my own a whole separate thingy, Bob. Um, so I love Maud because she just doesn't... She's just so different from what you normally see. Everybody, especially in a show for little girls, everybody's like happy, bubbly, yay, I'm pinky. Even the bookworm, even Twilight the bookworm is still like, ha I love my friends, everything is great. Maud is... I like rocks. I don't... I don't, I'm looking at the rock. I love that, that they're going to do that, that they're doing that. I love Maud. And, and so because that, that she is so different, they can't really c click, as they put it, click with her. They can't connect with her on an emotional level. And I like that. Because not everybody is going to be friends. And this is an extent, oh, this is an extension of, of the lesson they lear that we learned in, in um, way back in Griffin the Brush Off. Um, actually, this is, and this is the lesson I remember Noah Cool said that he wished that they had gone with for, um, 
um, keep calm and flutter on, is that not everyone will be your friend. That's what we learned in Griffin the Brush Off. And not everyone will be your friend, even if you want them to be. Not everyone's going to be friends with you. And that's what he wanted for for Discord, is that, you know, every, you know, Discord, as much as they want him to be good, he wasn't going to be. Instead, they, they went and they actually reformed him, which, take that as you will. I think it's actually worked out all right, but whatever. Um, basically, they kept all the Discord um, craziness without the, the, the dire threat of him trying to take over everything, which I think is the best of both worlds, which is... Appropriate, I said that because he's Q, and that's the best of both worlds. That's that's one of the best episodes of Next Gen. Um, anyway, whatever. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm off topic. So yeah, that was the lesson we learned in Griffin the Brush Off. But the difference there is that in Griffin the Brush Off, not they didn't make friends with Gilda because Gilda is a big jerk. And I love Gilda, as I said back in that episode, which I shall not name. I've even got a story I'm writing about on Fimfic about with Gilda. Um, I love Gilda. But sh- I can't deny she's an ass, and that's just who she is. And so there, and so she was a she was a thief. She was a liar. She was a bully. So they're not friends with her. That's not true for Maud. Not everyone will be your friends. That's not as big an impact if it's if the per- if the person who won't be your friend isn't. Woohoo! But Maud is not. Maud is a, is is a great person. She loves her sister. She look at what she did. She complete. She flew through the air. She complete. And she even took the time to put on the costume, the Kaiser hat. You know, she went and she demolished that rock for to save her sister's life because she loves her sister and she was concerned for her. It wasn't like you dummy. She was like Pinkie Pie. What were you thinking? Don't worry me like that. Maud is great. Maud's a great person. She's just a different person, and she's not going to be their friend. They're not going to be friends, not because there's anything wrong with her, just because she's different, and that's not who they are. So I think that was a great lesson. That was an even better lesson, version of that lesson than Griffin the Brush Off, because, I mean, no one's going to be, is going to fault you for not being friends with an Woohoo! like Gilda. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I like the whole aggro crag, the whole double dare guts uh, obstacle course they had. Um, you can bet that's what I'm doing for my end thing when I get to that. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I love just the episode. Oh, Pinky was so adorable the whole episode, and Maud is so sweet. She's so adorable. I love Maud, and all the main six were were with their usual charming selves. It was just like I said before. It was just. A purely character-driven episode. It was all the characters at their very core of their being, like being exactly who they are to the under the T, um, just playing off each other. That was a that's a great episode. You don't need to have a huge conflict or a big set piece in order to be a good episode, and this proves that. This was one of this is one of my new favorite episodes of not just this season of the whole show. This is one of my this is gonna go in my top five. I think I don't have an organized top five, but this will be this would if I did it, this would be in it, and. This is just, like, nothing really happened. There was nothing going on. It was just the characters being the characters, and I love that. So, yeah, I'm going on long enough. I'm going to cut this into a separate thing. Pinky. Um. Yeah, so, that's about enough for me, eh? It's time for me to sneak on out of here. This is a sneaking mission, after all. Mission accomplished. Ponies watched. Ty, oh my god, look at her looking at the screen. That's pretty creepy. Pinky, creeping you out. So yeah, I have to get out of here. See ya. So yeah, that's why Gilda is so cool. Whose footprints are these? Oh no, they found me. I gotta go. Snake? Snake? Snake! No, 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 no. Snake skin is the other guy. Remember? I'm Vaughn. Oh, uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Vaughn! Final event, the aggro crag. The player with the most points is the winner, and he or she gets to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock. That mountain calling for our players, and our players will encounter many obstacles en route to the top of that crag. Falling rocks, slime, snowstorms, smoke, water. 
Let's go to Mo and check out the rules. Mo. Mo.